Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a ruffled scarf using two strands of sachet boutique red heart yarn and that's available at maggiescrochet.com. In addition to two colors of yarn, I'm going to use these two, um, you'll also need a large crochet hook. I like using the Dreams hooks because they have such a deep um, throat on the head of the hook that you can see right there and this that I'm using is a size K and I recommend for beginners or just to have these in your little uh, you know pit kit for crocheting or knitting to have these jumbo stitch markers and these are available at maggiescrochet.com also and I'll show you how to use those to keep any loops from sliding out so right now what you're doing with this actually is um, running two strands together at the same time. So what I'm going to do here is open this one up and then I'll use the lighter color over the top. So let me move that. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. You see a little grid here and I'm going to take both of them together and I'm going to suggest that you just fold these over like this like one, two and then Fold this into here and just keep full, like rolling it but keeping track of that loop at the top like this until those ends are kind of tucked in there just like that. And then I can trim this little piece right here. I can trim that so it doesn't stick out. But right there is enough because the ruffles are going to cover it too. So I've kept all my squares together and I just kept rolling it. I have both sides together and I just roll it like this and then I'm going to put that whole roll right here onto my hook. So I rolled in the beginning there. Okay so all you do is since you can get one scarf out of one skein of yarn now that you're using two colors you should easily be able to get two scarves out of the set of two. So this will just give you some variety um, that you can use. So I'm going to skip two and then go into the third one, but I'm going to pick up both sides. So I've got to match up both sides. So this is a little bit more time consuming, but the results are worth it and it's not that much more time consuming. Okay, so I'm going to skip these two. I'm going to put those two on my hook. And then I am going to skip those, the next two, put that one on my hook, and I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to skip two and put that one on my hook. Then I'm going to go back to the front. I'm skipping two. I'm going to put this on my hook. And then I'm going to skip two and put that one on my hook. Then back and forth from the front to the back. I'm skipping two, put that one on my hook. Skipping two, put this one on my hook. Skipping two, and put this one on your hook. And skip the next two and put this one on your hook. So now let me count the, I'm not going to count this um, wad here. So I've got two and I'm going to count um, each one singly. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So if I want a real full scarf, I would do 14. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to do the, um, I'll just do one more. Um, and you don't count the, uh, the loop that's on your hook, you just count new loops. So now I have 12 new ones on my hook and I'm going to push these two down into the throat of the hook. That's why I like using these hooks because it's got such a deep throat on the head of the hook. See that there? It's nice. So 
I push those down in there. Then I put my my finger, my index finger like this into the space between the last loops and this the rest of the loops. So I've got my index finger here and I put my thumb on the other side and I hold them really tight and then I turn, I get that, make sure this stays up underneath the head of the hook and I'm going to turn that down and pull that through, pull all those loops over that one loop just like that. See how that is? So that's the first one done and that end is all tucked in and you've got a lot of ruffles. And see how the white um, shows up with the dark pink, it's really pretty. So this is where a stitch marker comes in. It's very disappointing when your loops fall off your hooks and it can happen easily with this pattern. So what I do is I go in the back and I put the stitch marker through that those two loops that are on my hook and I'm just going to fasten that there. So now you just spread this out and I'm going to skip two there. I'm going to put that one on my hook and skip two here, um, right there, and skip two on the front, and then go back on this one, and then skip two here, go back on that one, and then I skip two there, go back there, skip two, go there. So it's just back and forth. Once you get used to this, you can just watch TV or do whatever, like you usually do when you're crocheting, and um, just get them done easily. I've heard of people make following my uh, YouTube videos, videos and making tons of these. Okay, let me see what we got now. So, I have my first one on there. So, new ones that I put on are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So, I can take, um, since I'm doing 12, I'm going to take these off. So, now I'm going to um, put this down in the throat of my hook. I'll put my finger in here. I'm going to put my, I'm going to ignore this little stitch marker here. I'm going to grab hold of all these loops real tight, just the one side of them. Turn the head down and pull that wad of hooks over the last two that I pulled up. So it's just like this. And then, especially for beginners, I would mark the, every single loop. So I'm going to mark that one. And then I'm going to go back, skip these two, put that on my hook, go back here. Skip those two, put that on my hook. Skip two, pick up one. All right. I'm going to do another video to show you what to do when you have knots in your yarn or you run into a place where um, it just gets all frayed um, because I've had that happen because I've made quite a few of these and I've seen other people deal with it so I've got solutions for all of that so let me show you here so I have two four two four six eight ten and twelve okay the last two stay inside the head of the hook there I'm going to put my index finger here, my thumb over here. I'm going to turn down the head of my hook and lift those loops over the head of the hook, being careful not to catch the loops inside. And I think I did catch a little strand there, so I'm just going to pull that off right there. So um, that's the other thing I'll go over in the other video too is if you catch strands coming out of there and I'll show you how to um, figure out how to fix all that. So now if I want to mark this one here all I got to do is go to the one before the last one I did. You don't want to take this one out but I, you can safely take this one out. So you just remove this and you move it up to the one you just did like right here and then you continue on just like that. 
So see how pretty it is with the, running the two colors together and then they all get, um, they all ruffle together. It's so pretty. But that's another idea that you can do with this yarn. Okay, so let me show you how to finish off. So this one you've got two strands. So you just hold them out like the regular, you know, really, really thick yarn. And for this, I'm gonna leave like maybe a five inch end here. I'm gonna cut away from the hook, the loop that's on my hook. Okay, then I am going to pull both of those one at a time. I'm going to yarn over with this one and pull it through the hook, through that loop, and I'm going to hold on to that loop. And I'll put that loop back onto my hook, and I'm going to pull the other strand through. So they're both coming through like that. Okay. And then I would tie a knot with both of those strands at the end, like this, and like this. Okay, and you want it to be real tight, and then you just cut that close, like that, and then the ruffles will fall over that. So that's how you do a um, sachet ruffled scarf using two strands of yarn. And like I said, um, watch all the other videos because I show you how to work with all the different types of yarn in separate videos. And then look for the video where I show you how to, um, you know, fix problems that come up with the yarn and um, different tips that I've learned by teaching this to a lot of people. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Maggie Weldon, and on Facebook, we're Maggie's Crochet, and our website is maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching.